As the holiday season draws near, a festive atmosphere envelops Starbase with the arrival of the SpaceX Santa Claus, orchestrating a special delivery on December 14th of 2023. Ship 28 gracefully journeyed to suborbital pad B, adorned with the spirit of Christmas, a whimsical parade featuring snowmen and a proudly adorned Christmas tree aboard. With its engines primed for testing, Ship 28 emerges as a potential Yuletide marvel, hinting at a gift-worthy surprise come Christmas Eve. The prototype's journey has been punctuated by rigorous trials, including two cryoproof evaluations at Massey's test site. Following this, it spent an intensive two and a half months at the Sanchez site, undergoing meticulous engine installations and a suite of comprehensive upgrades. As anticipation mounts, Ship 28 is slated for a streamlined testing regimen, a symphony of assessments. The roadmap includes crucial stages such as cryogenic testing, paving the way for a pivotal six-engine spin priming. This crescendo culminates in a monumental six-engine static fire, marking its preparedness for the final stacking phase. Amidst the festive aura, this prototype's journey promises an unveiling brimming with celestial wonder and technological prowess. The forthcoming test of Shift 28 is set to take place early next week, prompting the temporary closure of Boca Chica Beach and State Highway 4, FM 1419 to Boca Chica Entrance on December 18th, 19th, and the 20th of 2023 from 8 in the morning to 8 in the evening as ordered by County Judge Eddie Trevino Jr. This measure is a precautionary step to ensure public safety during SpaceX's testing phase. Scheduled for the first quarter of 2024, the IFT T3 of Ship 28 and Booster 10 aims to validate pivotal technologies crucial for upcoming lunar and interplanetary missions. SpaceX, under the visionary leadership of Elon Musk, continually pioneers space technology. The Starship project, envisaged as a reusable spacecraft for human and cargo transport to Mars, remains at the forefront of their groundbreaking endeavors. Following the second flight test, or the IFT-2, on November 18th of 2023, which showcased successful hot staging, but encountered telemetry loss after eight minutes of flight, SpaceX plans to integrate key learnings from these missions. Building upon these lessons, the IFT-3 incorporates critical updates, including electronic thrust vector control for precise trajectory control and an enhanced flight termination system for added safety measures. Moreover, substantial improvements to the launch pad infrastructure are in progress, encompassing the addition of a water-cooled steel plate for thermal protection and sound attenuation. Notable enhancements extend to the orbital launch module and Megazilla, the instrumental chopstick arms facilitating the stacking of Starship on the booster. These advancements underscore SpaceX's unwavering commitment to innovation and safety in their pursuit of ambitious space exploration goals. An imperative faucet, anticipated in IFT-3, revolves around propellant transfer, a crucial maneuver integral to the Human Landing System, or the HLS. This test is poised to involve the transfer of approximately 10 tons of liquid oxygen between two distinct tanks within Starship, potentially from a header tank to a primary tank. This pioneering maneuver holds paramount importance for future missions under NASA's Artemis program aimed at ferrying astronauts to the moon. This endeavor marks SpaceX's commitment to their tipping point contract with NASA, aiming to attain invaluable data on propellant transfer, a hitherto untested operation in space. The successful execution of this test will significantly contribute to honing the intricacies of maneuvering propellants between vehicles, an indispensable skill for the upcoming lunar lander's functionality. However, a crucial prerequisite for the imminent Starship Flight 3 involves SpaceX's application for reissuance of a license from the Federal Aviation Administration, or the FAA. This procedural step remains pivotal for SpaceX to proceed with the planned mission, underscoring the regulatory framework integral to spacefaring endeavors. Remarkably, the U.S. Government Accountability Office, or GAO for short, recently called upon the USFAA to reevaluate its approach to investigating space launch incidents. The GAO's report, analyzing data from 2000 to mid-January of 2023, highlighted that 50 out of 433 commercial space launches during this period experienced mishaps, including catastrophic explosions and other failures. Currently, the FAA generally authorizes launch operations 
operators to conduct mishap investigations with oversight. However, the GAO report emphasizes the need for a comprehensive evaluation of the effectiveness of this approach. Additionally, it recommends that the FAA establish clear criteria for determining when an investigation should be led by the launch operator, overseen by the FAA, or handled by the FAA itself. SpaceX's recent Starship mishaps, including the April explosion and the fiery end of the November 18th test flight, were investigated by SpaceX under FAA oversight. The resulting reports outlined corrective actions required before subsequent test flights could be licensed. However, the GAO's recommendations aim to prompt more thorough assessments and define better investigative standards. The FAA, citing resource constraints due to the specialized nature of space vehicles, has relied on operator-led inquiries. The GAO suggests that this approach, while beneficial in expediency, may lack thoroughness. The Department of Transportation, the FAA's parent agency, concurred with the GAO's recommendations, committing to a detailed response within 180 days of the report's release. Should the FAA adopt these suggestions, it may herald a significant change in the review process for Starship mishaps. Currently, the agency's pace tends to lag behind SpaceX's investigations. Here's hoping the FAA can enhance its oversight to better navigate such incidents in the future. And now for something completely different. Recent reports highlight China's clandestine launch of a military space plane marking its third mission while the U.S. military's winged spacecraft faced grounding due to SpaceX rocket issues. The Long March 2F rocket took off from the Jiuquan Satellite Launch Center in the Gobi Desert on December 14th, lofting a reusable test spacecraft into low Earth orbit, as per Chinese state media Xinhua. Although airspace closure notices hinted at an approximate launch time around 10 a.m. Eastern, or 1500 UTC, the report didn't confirm the exact time. It merely stated that the test craft would orbit for a while before returning to its landing spot in China. The mission's objectives encompass reusable technology verification and space science experiments, supporting the peaceful use of space as per the report's machine translation. China has kept details about this experimental reusable spacecraft project under wraps, refraining from releasing any images of the launches. Speculations suggest the space plane launches vertically atop the Long March 2F, a rocket typically employed for China's Shenzhou crewed mission. The secretive nature of these missions adds to the intrigue surrounding China's advancements in spacefaring technology. The launcher's payload capacity of slightly over 8 metric tons to low Earth orbit hints at the spacecraft's potential similarity in size and function to the U.S. Air Force's X-37B space plane. This parallel between payload capabilities suggests a comparable scope or purpose for the Chinese craft, adding another layer of intrigue to its enigmatic nature. This perception gains traction from purported images of the payload fairing wreckage retrieved from the second launch shared on the Sina Weibo social media platform. These visuals potentially offer insights into the spacecraft's dimensions and configuration, hinting at its shape and structure. In earlier missions, the spacecraft undertook satellite deployment tasks and potentially engaged in scientific and diverse experiments. Throughout its second flight, the craft executed various orbital maneuvers, both minor and substantial in scale. The upcoming third flight is expected to diverge in purpose, aiming to push the boundaries of the spacecraft's capabilities through enhanced testing and exploration. The reusable spacecraft potentially forms the orbital segment in conjunction with a reusable suborbital first stage. This suborbital craft was initially tested in 2021, followed by a subsequent mission in August of 2022. The suborbital vehicle employs a vertical takeoff method and executes a horizontal landing. The American reusable X-37B program commenced in 2010 and is preparing for its seventh mission launch, scheduled to deploy via a Falcon Heavy rocket later this month. Recent days have seen some setbacks in the launch schedule. The upcoming mission aims to explore new orbital pathways, conduct experiments involving space domain awareness technologies, and analyze the impact of radiation on materials in collaboration with NASA. 
NASA, the Chinese Shenlong space plane and Boeing's X-37B projects, while shrouded in secrecy regarding their purpose, purposes and capabilities, might mirror the broader space dynamics. Brian Whedon, director of program planning at the Secure World Foundation, suggests that both vehicles likely share similar objectives. Based on what little information we have, I think the Shenlong and the X-37B are likely doing many of the same missions. Same missions, he said in an interview with Space News. That is, primarily being used for experimenting and testing new technologies, sensors, and perhaps even operational practices. Whedon also highlights that the programs could reflect, could reflect the current state of affairs between the U.S. and China. I think both programs are reflective of the current relationship between the U.S. and China. Each sees the other's secretive space plane program as a potential threat and destabilizing weapon, while insisting that their own program is important but benign. Well, folks, that's about it for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in, and if you want to support our channel even further, you can hop on over to our Patreon through the link in the description below. Sign up and become a patron today to gain access to exclusive content. Sounds exciting, right? In any case, we still appreciate your generosity and your passion for space exploration. As always, this is Kevin from Great SpaceX, and until next time, keep looking up, and happy holidays!